What does that mean? Because I have a fiance, all of a sudden I can't get your number? What's up, KNR Squad? It's your boy, Bud Munreef, and I am back again with nothing but trouble. Listen, today's video is about to be crazy. I really don't know if I'm gonna survive, all right? But I'm taking this risk for you. Yeah, you right there. Stop playing. You know you love when you get Kristen's reaction. You love her reaction. You love when I risk my life. So what I'm going to need you to do is show me some love. Hit that like button right now. On the road to 1 million subs. Hit that like button. Show some love. And you're going to get a great reaction today because I ain't playing no games. So today, today guys, I'm going to be acting like another girl rejected me and I'm upset. You heard what I just said. I'm going to be acting like I'm mad because another girl rejected me. So this is the play, all right? So I just came back from the store because I had to go get some more dirt because we're actually redoing the front of our lawn. Um, the winter time, our lawn got all messed up. And if you guys have been following us on Snapchat, you will see that yesterday we went and got some soil for the grass. But that soil is done. It's not enough. So I went and I got a couple more bags. I have them with me right now. But right now it's lunch time. All right, so let me check my phone right now to tell y'all what time it is exactly. Right now it's 4.28 and Kristen says she wants me to grill. So I'm going to be grilling today. But we got to head to the store to go get her some hot dogs because she likes hot dogs. And she don't really like burgers like me, so she wants hot dogs. So we're going to the store. On our way to the store, I'm going to be telling her a crazy story that I asked this girl for her number. I'm going to make up a crazy... I'm not going to tell you guys what I'm going to do. Just tap in right now. It's about to be a banger. So I'm going to go inside because I just got back and I'm gonna tell her let's go I'm gonna set up this prank it's gonna be super lit yo team R let's get it <laughs> Yeah, I'm ready. I just gotta go put one of the bags. I gotta put the bags in the garage from the car. And then <coughs> just grab all your stuff and then we can go. Alright, I'm gonna put the stuff in the in the garage. Huh? You gonna grab your purse? No, never mind. I'm not gonna get my purse. Can you find me my um I'm looking for one of my sweaters. It's a little chilly, but. Anyone to sign? Yeah. I need time, I need a time, I need a time to go set up in the car. I don't need no sweater, I'm not gonna wear your sweater, I'm just gonna tell her, never mind. I'm gonna go set up in the car right now, get ready, and get back to y'all. It's about to be a bagger. Y'all, it's about to be crazy, man. We're gonna turn this, we're gonna turn this shit up and get her, oh, she's on her way, guys. She's on her way, all right, let's go. You brought your favorite one. Thanks. Yeah, bro, and I couldn't believe that. I, I swear, bro, I couldn't believe that she did that, bro. I'm so pissed off. Yeah. Not disrespectful as hell, but I'm gonna call you back, bro. Alright. What's wrong? Nah, because the craziest thing happened to me earlier today when I went to go get the soil just a while ago. What? Like, <laughs> oh, Lee, like, I'm just so mad because it's like, why the hell, bro? What? First things first, I need to make a guide. Uh huh. I am I a good teacher? Am I Was good someone teacher? trying to school you on soil? Not on soil, but it's just like I teach you good about the car, right? Like you know, oil changes. Oh yeah, because I don't know anything about cars. Exactly. So, what happened? So boom, right? I'm there getting the getting the oh, getting the uh, soil for the for the for the grass. I go to Home Depot. I grab three bags because obviously the ones we used yesterday are done. Yeah. I grab three bags. <laughs> I'm coming out now, and I see this girl there, and her car is not starting, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm she's just pressing the button, like I hear, and I'm just like, why does she keep doing that? Like, that doesn't even make sense. Like, there's something wrong with your car. Wait, what are you supposed to do? You can't keep doing that. No, you can't keep doing. There's something wrong with the car, so you need to relax. Oh, because I so would then, keep doing that. Yeah, right. So I'm just like, so I went. Obviously, you know me. You're gonna I'm go a help. Helper. I'm gonna go help. Like, especially like when your friend calls, she's like, "Oh, just reef, no ask me." You guys always come and ask me yeah. about the car. So I go over there. I'm like, "Yo, pop the hood. Let's see what's going on." Beer smoke coming out of the hood. Right? 
So what does that mean? So I'm like, yo, let me check your oil for you. Yeah. I checked the, I put the thing in, checked the gauge. She has no oil in the car. Cause she didn't, probably didn't know. Right. So I asked her, I'm like, yo, when's the last time you had an oil change? Yeah. It's like, I mean, I just drive the car just to drive the car. Like I've never had an oil change in the last five months. So I'm the like, engine is going to go. It's gonna... Engine's going to blow. So I'm like, wait. So it was it was gonna blow right then and there? I mean, if it started smoking at that point, there's no oil. There hasn't been any oil in the car. She's driving Things the just car, dry. just dry up, right? So I'm like, that is so crazy. Yeah. So me now, I go inside, and I'm just like, what the hell? They don't have no oil here. So I go all the way to Canadian Tire, right? So she waited there for you? Yeah, she waited there. Went all the way to Canadian Tire. Right. Grabbed the oil, two bottles at that, that I spent with my own money. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Put the oil in her car. Did all of that. Got messy and shit. Next thing you know, she starts the car. The car is running. The car is running yeah. smooth. Okay. Like, I'm just like, yo, this Leave is what you got to you rescue. You feel me? So you think you're a hero now? I'm Wait, always what happened? Hero. So, this is, so that's what I'm going to get into the right, story. Because right, right, like, right. there's no freaking way. Right. So now I'm checking and I'm checking. I'm like, yo, windshield wiper. She got no windshield wiper fluid. How are you going to drive the car with no windshield wiper fluid? Right? I mean, she can still drive it with no windshield Yeah, fluid. but then when stuff gets on your car, it's dirty. You have no windshield. It's like, it's like literally she didn't know nothing to do with the car. So then, you know, I'm just like, let me just fill that for you. Because I already had some in the back of our oh, car. Okay. So I used the one that we had in the back. And I put it in, filled it, um, checked all of that. So long story short, she's so happy. She's like, of you know, course. like, oh my God, thank you. Like, I can't believe that. Um, I didn't know what was going on with the car. And no one's ever, like, helped me before. And I'm wow. just like, yo, this is what I do. Like, I come to the rescue. So I'm like, boom. I'm like, yo, so you know what? Don't tell me her husband comes out. Nah, says, like, she what even, are you doing talking? Nah, she didn't even have no husband. So, like, boom. I'm like, yo, just give me your number. And then whenever, like, something's wrong with your car, like, I can help you. Like, I can give you a cheaper price. Wait, so you're a mechanic now? Basically, I'm going to be, like, How? I'll be your personal mechanic. She's going to look at me and be like, I'm not going to give you my number because you have a fiancé. I'm like, what the f What does that mean? Because I have a fiance, all of a sudden I can't get your number? Like, I, I just literally just helps you. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying hold to on, be, wait, just I'm trying second. to, wait. What do you so mean, wait? On. Like, I just went out there all the way to Canadian Tire, Yo. spent my own money, Yo. and you're telling me you can't give me your number? Because I have a fiance? What does that mean? First of all, who are you yelling at? She's not here in the car. Second no, but I'm just all, so just mad because, like, that's so disrespectful. Yeah, but and rude. give me one second, right? It is kind of weird for you to say, let me give you my number, knowing damn well you're not no mechanic. So why would you want her to have your number? Like, she, she, what, is she gonna text you? Asking about how to do things for her car? That's, that, no, I'm not done yet, of, I'm not, but I'm not done yet. I was thinking of a side hustle. No, because hold on, the other day you said I should make a guide Right, but I'm not women. done yet. Just give me a all second. Right, all right. So I find that weird. I find right. that weird. All right. Right, because then you have to go find multiple clients. Right? And I know that's not something you want to do. Why not? Two. Something I do want to Two. Do. Why are you getting angry if she says, I don't want to give you my number because you have a fiance? That's a that's a valid point. Like, she not probably thinks... Not because it's like at get, the end of the day. I'm it's not, like, but I'm not done yet. Oh, my God. She All probably right. thinks that it would be weird. If, if she's texting your phone, calling your phone, and I'm just there like, so who is this girl? You're not a mechanic, so what's going on? Like... That's mad weird. You're just some regular person saying, here, take my number. Like, now you're I'm not, regular. You're I'm not, not regular. a professional. I literally am Superman at that point. I just saved her life. But why, are you, but why are you so upset? Because I'm upset because it's like, all of a sudden she's talking about, oh, I seen that you guys got engaged on Instagram. It's all over. Valid. Um, and you're asking me for my number. I'm like, what does that mean? So now that I have a fiance, it's like, I can't be a good Samaritan anymore. I'm locked off to getting people's number. Like, I can't get your number now? First of like, all, what the hell? if you had a business card. Like, that's dumb as hell. I didn't have a business card. So that's why I was trying to get her a number, give her my number, get her number. And then I can make some extra money on the side. Because, you know, the other day you mentioned to me, you're like, yo, make a guide to females on how to fix their cars, do certain things. Right, but it doesn't have to get personal. You don't have to give out your number. If you had a business card, maybe a business number, that's fine. But your personal number now, I think that's crossing my the line. My personal number. So she can call me personally and yeah, be like, she hey, probably, come over. Listen, can you can listen. you can you change my tires? Yo. Can you put your junk in my trunk? Can you you get what I'm saying? Like what? 
you're like doing a, you're doing a bit too no, much right I'm now. So and yeah, mad, it's like it's like you were a hero for the day, but you don't have to go further than that. You know you're what I'm not saying? Understanding what I'm saying to you? No, I what I'm saying to you. I wish I should have been please, outside to putting me. the soil on the grass. But I took my damn hard earned time and went all the way to Canadian. You know, far Canadian tires. First of all, so you're like minutes. you're like a gift giver, taker, backer. You give someone something and you expect it back when they at least don't go your way. At least give me something. But you, in what return. you need to listen to is me. What I'm saying is that's mad weird for her to have your number just for things that you're not even an expert on and number two what if she was scared why would scared? i want to give yeah so she used me basically no, she used and abused me, me. that's no, what she did that. what so she wasn't scared when i was fixing the car she wasn't scared when i was fixing the car though but all of a sudden she's scared when it's time to give me your number and 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 and, and why and would she want to i'm not giving no random man my number first of all first and foremost is that what okay. you do you just go out there and get random girls numbers what i'm saying is what do you do at the after, grocery stores after i did all of that work for her she should have at least gave me her number so that I can I can be the first person she calls when she needs help again to fix a car. At the end of the day, it's like all of a sudden Yo, so many people know so weird. so many like people know that we're in, that we're engaged and it's like it's a curse at the same time because it's like all of a sudden because I have a fiance, I can't get the same luxuries that I used to have. I can't live the same oh, life so I used to live. So you used to get girls numbers and they used to give it out because you weren't engaged. Is that what you're no, saying? No, that's not what I'm saying. What that's I'm what saying, saying is I cannot no longer help people out because it's like, oh no. It's against the law now for you to get my number. It's against the law now for me to say hi. It's against the law now for me to, because you have a fiance? Like, what? It's a valid point. People are scary nowadays. I'm not just going to give out my number to a random man. I'm sorry. That's but I not wasn't how random at that time, is what I'm saying. All you I'm are, saying is, babe, all I'm you saying are is that random. I was, I just and it's got weird upset. to me that you're getting upset right now. I just got upset. I don't know why you're in your feelings about it. Because it's like, I literally felt so happy that today I was able to go out there and help somebody. And that's great. Right? Yeah. Like, every day, my goal is to help one person. That's perfect. And it was just right there. I was blessing this girl, helping her out. And all I asked her to do was bless me back with her phone number. But so how that, is that I can, you? Because after down the line, I can make money off of her. You get what I'm saying? And she didn't want to give me her number talking about, oh... You got a girl. You got a fiance. You're about to be married. I don't care, babe. You don't even know like, what to what? charge these people because you're not a real. I'm mechanic. charging her half the price of whatever the real deal is. How do you know charge? what the real deal is going to be when you're not a mechanic? Because I go and get my own oil change. When they charge me seventy nine ninety nine, I'm going to go and cut that in half, and I'll say, "Yo, give me forty bucks." You get what I'm saying? You never told me you wanted to be a mechanic of any sort. It's so not I about find this really weird. Like I find it really weird. You keep saying, "Do I want to be?" I don't want to be a mechanic. Right, so then why do you need her number? So that I can help her out when she needs help. So why do you want to help her out if you don't want to be a mechanic? See, that's where because I catch you. That's good, where I caught you because now it's not Samaritan. making sense. It's not making sense. What are you talking about? It's not about? making sense. How's it not making it sense? It seems like you feel like because you helped her, now she has to give you some sort of yeah. gift back. Yes, which her is number. What? Which is what? Her what? Phone right, number. right, right. But why is the phone number the gift? So what, do you guys, she, what do you want to talk about? Like, I'm confused. No, so she can... No, because you just got caught. When something happens with her car, because that's what I told her. I said, if anything ever happens to your car, you need to but hit me up. But you just said you don't want to be a mechanic. So if anything happens to her car, why does that matter to you? You're confused. I'm confused now. This story's not adding I up. It's not making help, sense. Because I can help, Kristen. Help. I am the help. Not me. A lot of girls don't know what to do with their car. So I'm thinking I can make a side hustle, make this money. So if I help her, I can help, I can get her other friends number to help her friends, her other, the other girls. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to help out these girls that don't know what they're doing with right, their car. So you just want a whole bunch of random girls numbers in your phone because you possibly may become a mechanic because you have possibly some expert advice. What that's I'm saying really to you to is that the whole fiance situation it's cramping my style. I don't think it's cramping you know your what I'm style. saying? Because if you're, now, if you're, if all of a sudden, If you're married, it's you're like, married. If you're not, you're not. If you're a fiancé, you're a fiancé. You can't change your status in life just because you want to help somebody out. Like, that's not how this works. What I'm saying is, all of a sudden, it's like I'm off the market. Yeah, you are off the market, like, though. What? You are. You are. Like, the ring is right here. I get that. But that shouldn't, that shouldn't stop me from being able to... So should I just not wear my ring because I don't want people to know what my status in life is? And then I possibly might not be able to help that person because they know that I'm... What engaged. I'm saying is we might need to take down the videos off Instagram. Because it's, it's literally me up. What are you saying right now? Because everybody's seeing the videos. The videos is messing me up with what I need to do outside. What do you street. need to do? Because the other day it happened too. Somebody, Why does other the other opinions day, matter? Why can't you live just, your life based off but, of but because what of other, is, what people are saying? What like, I'm saying is it's not even just the situation. The other day, the same thing happened in Walmart, right? 
seeing this girl in Walmart, she's trying to figure out which one of the fruits, which one of the avocados is is more is is more ripe. And I'm like, yo, this one is too ripe because it's too soft. This one is too hard. It's not ready to be ripe. I found the perfect avocado for her. So I'm like, if you want to find somebody that wants to be an avocado picker, I can pick your avocados for you. Now you, she's just, gonna, you now you sound stupid. Now you're making up a full story. She's gonna look at me. You're making up a full story just to prove your point. If you need an avocado picker, really? I'm this, saying somebody to help her wear to her just groceries. Take down, like, the engagement man. photos and like. I'm saying somebody. What are you to help trying to do? Groceries. Are you trying to say that us being she engaged was is not? She was old. Helping you in Let's any relax. way, shape, or form she in was, terms of the girl old. department. She was literally like, old. She was literally old. She was. Well, I'm still least. talking, and you're like shouting over me. I'm so confused right now. If you want to be a creep, that's on you. But I will not be involved with that. So if you want to go ahead and take the engagement photos down, just because you don't want me to be a representation of you. Then that's on you. That's not on me. I am happily so engaged. Take it down right now. I'm not gonna take it down. I'm not gonna take it down. You if just, you wanna, you just if you wanna take it down, then you can take it down, because and let, the every, and the then you here. can post a, a picture saying to everybody, "Hey, I decided to take the engagement photos down. What are you doing?" I'm gonna take it down. Why though? Because when I'm out on the street. It's, I'm being affected at the end of the day. Like but you're off the market. I was literally trying to help the lady with her grocery. She's going to look at me and say, oh, your fiance wouldn't like that, would she? Okay. Like, so you don't bro, like, so, all I'm trying so to do is help you with your groceries. Answer me this one question, right? And then I can do your right, service. Right. Like, answer what? me this one question, right? Do you enjoy being engaged to me or no? I do. But we can No, you can't, can you can't say I do low, and like, then but because everything before the but is, can is canceled I'm out. I'm saying we can keep it on the low, baby. Keep it on the low. What do you think this is? You think I'm hiding? No, but I'm saying. Do you want to hide? I do you want to be hidden? This summer, I want to be able to go out there and mow people's lawns. Okay? And if they're going to look at me and say, oh, I don't think it's okay for you to get. Then they're not a good client. I don't think like, it's going to be okay for you. What are you saying? Okay then they're for looking you, for something. Um, to get extra services. Outside of the Extra services. services after you finish. Like, I want to be able to get a nice glass of lemonade when I'm done. What are the extra services that you're trying to give people? Get a tip. I'm trying to get a tip. So because you're engaged, you can't get a tip. Is what you're saying. Right. You sound like a freaking stripper, bro. You sound like a stripper for real. Because there ain't no way you're trying to do extra services. At but just because you're day, engaged, you can't you know do it. Let's just go get the hot dogs. No, you're being girl. mad weird right now. I don't want to go I nowhere. Just I just want to go back to the house. I was just upset because I live my engaged the, life by myself. The girl didn't want to give me her number when yeah, I really okay, wanted her whatever, number. Reach. That's all I'm saying. I, I don't, I don't, I mess, I don't mess with this creeper lifestyle. I really don't. I really don't. So you going out there trying to get girls' numbers so, for whatever reason so is weird. So I shouldn't have got her phone. It wasn't okay for me to get her number? No. Not now, because of what you're thinking about it. To help her out. No, in the in this situation, the way you're thinking of it in your head to be the is help. weird. Can you stop? You sound creepy. You know when girls are just like, oh my God, like I can't believe he came to my rescue. I want to be that guy. For every girl. No, for the ones that Oh, I wow. That I so help. my knight in shining armor is everybody's knight in shining armor. This is crazy. Isn't, isn't Spider-Man is and Superman I'm on the everybody's, girl's side because everybody's you're, knight in shining you're armor? creeping them out for real. Whoever you're doing this to, you're creeping them out and you're creeping me out. So you need to stay five meters back right now. Whatever. Bro, You're mad she weird. She gave me her number. It's that simple. Because I told her that she looked beautiful and all of that stuff. And she didn't want to do it. She didn't want to give me her number. I'm like, yo, you look. Oh, so now you look you're look throwing pretty. out compliments. Thanks for riding on yourself. Thanks for riding on yourself. Now I know who you are. Did I say? You you just ratted on yourself. You said that you said she looked beautiful and everything. That's why she felt uncomfortable giving you her number because she obviously had a reason to. You're disgusting. But like. No, you're disgusting. You need to not do that. How, how long have you been doing this for? But like, why is she? Why did she want to give me? Like, I'm upset now. Like, what? Is she, what do you mean by that? Ew, bro. Nah. Okay, I'm just. Nah. Joking. I'm just joking, baby. It's just a prank, man. <laughs> you think I? You think I would actually do that? You're sweating. Look in the mirror. Who's sweating? You. I'm hot. Oh. So why didn't you wipe me down? Because you're a creep. I ain't touching you. Okay. <laughs> we should go ahead and get married. We should go ahead and get married. I don't want to put a rush on you. Hope I ain't putting too much on you. Way more than a crush on you. And you love it when I touch on you. Yeah, I feel why I take time.